Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. What we're going to do here is learn how to multiply mixed number times another mixed number. It's, it's not rocket science. We've already learned how to handle mixed numbers when we're multiplying. It's just that here we're going to be doing a mixed number times another mixed number. So for instance, if we had the number 2 and a half, and we're multiplying by 1 and a half, uh, remember before, I, I told you that when we were dealing with mixed numbers and multiplication to convert one of the mixed numbers, uh, or the mixed number, into an improper fraction. So here we're going to do it for both of them. So for this one, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and I write it over 2, because the bottom number is 2. And then in this guy, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and I write it over 2 because of this guy. Now, we don't care about common denominators. In fact, we have the same denominator in, in, these ca in this case, but we don't really care because for fractions, we multiply the top, 5 times 3 is 15, and we multiply the bottoms, 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is 15 fourths, but we always check and see, can we simplify this? And uh, we, in, the, in the process of seeing if we can simplify it, we look and notice that this is an improper fraction. So we're going to convert back to a mixed number. How many times will 4 go into 15? 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 times 4 is 16. That's too big. So 4 times 3 is 12. It'll go 3 whole times. The difference between 12 and 15 is 3, so that's the remainder. And we always write it over what's on the bottom. So the answer is 3 and 3 fourths. All right, so just keep in mind that whenever you're doing these problems, when you're multiplying a mixed number times another mixed number, all you do is convert them both to improper, multiply them, and simplify. And so we're doing the same process for these problems over and over again, but we'll just get some practice doing it as we go along. What if we have 1 and 1 third times 2 and 3 fourths? How would we handle that? Well, uh, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 thirds. And we're multiplying by 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. And that'll be 11 over 4 because we always write it over what's on the bottom. And so whenever we get them into fractional form like this, we just simply multiply the top together. 4 times 11 is 44. And we multiply the bottoms together. 3 times 4 is 12. And so that uh, you know, ultimately really is the final answer. But we notice a couple things. We know that these are both even numbers. So we could divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. But we also notice that this is an improper fraction. So we have a couple of different ways we can go about doing this here, and you, it's really up to you how you choose um, how you choose to do it. But let's go down one road here. Let's say we divide the top by two and the bottom by two. What would that give us? Forty-four divided by two is twenty-two. Twelve divided by two is six. So we're presented with this fraction. But we notice again that this is still an even number and an even number. So we can again divide the top by two and again the bottom by two. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we fully simplified this guy, but we had noticed also that it's improper. So let's take a minute to convert it back to a mixed number. How many times will 3 go into 11? We can only go uh, 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. That's too many times. So it can only go 3 times, which gives me 9. The difference between 9 and 11 is 2, and we write it over the denominator here. So 3 and 2 thirds, that's the final answer. The truth is, at this point here, we could have converted to mixed number, but the mixed number that we would have gotten from this point, we would have to simplify the fractional part uh, into lowest terms. 